talk. It's time for football, and here we go. Super Bowl 55 is underway. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone, and we will not have a return, so the first drive of this Super Bowl will begin at the 25. Here's a handoff to Carson to begin the drive. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Well, I know where they're going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Dancing to his left. He'll run it, and he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. At the 40-yard line. Operating from the gun. Wilson going for Metcalf on the deep ball. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And we knew that this offense was going to try and put pressure on the secondary. That was something they talked about with us. They knew that they had an advantage, pressed it, and there you go. Big play for a touchdown on their very first possession. And the final number of the next-gen stats, that ball traveling a full 59 yards through the air. Pete Carroll in that familiar hands-on-knees pose. His guys will go for two here. Here's Wilson operating from the gun. And he will get in to make it 8-0. Shut him down! Shut him down! So they get in for the opening drive score, and they go for two. They, they kept the kicker lonesome over there. They said, we don't need you this time. <laughs> kickers? Who needs kickers for PATs? Nice now. We want them for field goals, go. not for PATs. They went for two and got it. It's a new tone setter for this team. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. To the right side to Eric Ebron. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. One quarter down, 8-0 the score. With the score, Seahawks 8, Steelers nothing. On second down, it's Connor. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Here's Roethlisberger. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Chris Boswell on for the field goal. A 51-yard attempt. And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. A reminder, coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of the Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A 
CD, I mean, there are touchdown runs, and then there are touchdown runs, and that one certainly fell into the latter category. Now that deserves a couple exclamation points. And what I really enjoyed about that run and what made it so impressive to me was how he improvised along the way. Sometimes on a big play, you just get the football and you take off in a straight line and go. But this time, how about the artistry of that play? That looked a little bit like a Picasso to me. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Chris Carson taking it in. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. So the big play to kick off the drive set them up first and goal, and they're able to cash in right away on play number two. I think I'm starting to understand more and more when we get ready to do games and we meet with coaches, why they talk about big plays, explosive plays, and how it sets them up for success, because that's exactly how they're able to score on this one. We saw the touchdown. We saw the payoff. But, of course, that big, long chunk play is what got them in position. And this doesn't work. The Steelers recover it. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Johnson with a completion over the middle. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Brings up second and five. Now it's Roethlisberger. Ebron caught left side. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Seven yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 29 yard line. Roethlisberger. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Second down and ten. Second and ten now. It's Roethlisberger. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Brings up a third down and ten yards. On third down, Roethlisberger. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. After the interception, here's Wilson. Steps away to his left. Now he'll pull it down. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And all the way down to the 41-yard line. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He'll let this go for the end zone. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson with two first half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And I'm telling you, nothing will let up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. And you can see in the next-gen stats, that one at 62 yards in the air. The extra point now coming from Myers. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Taking it about the one. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Here comes Ben Roethlisberger and the Steeler offense back onto the field. In second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take on all that extra pressure on yourself 
and maybe you have to disperse it a little bit. Lean on some other people, lean on your teammates, find someone who can take the pressure off and get the ball in their hands for a while. Or this, if he doesn't, this yeah. is getting out of hand or it could get worse. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Roethlisberger. He's gonna find his running back, it's complete. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Brings up second and a yard at the 42-yard line. So, so the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Steelers, nothing. With the never tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again in Super Bowl 54. But gutsy call there. He eggs at the locker room with a lead, tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. In on the stop, the Pro Bowl strong safety, Jamal Adams. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Samuels again. Not much there, maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all, and it leaves them with third and long, and you know this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. Able to hit his target, Claypool. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And first and foremost, this is all about vision. He can see the play developing right in front of him. And once he's past the line of scrimmage and got a full head of steam behind him, He's just going to keep right on going. And his top speed, as computed by Next Gen Stats, not bad. He was pushing 20 miles an hour. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. of course and that moves him back five so a little bit of a stiffer challenge now first and 15 following the delay of game throwing is Wilson flush to his right and that is incomplete intended for DK Metcalf incomplete brings up second down and, and this should be the final play before the quarter ends Second and 15 now. Wilson. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. 
And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 23. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And did he get in? No, down at the one-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. I have to jump on myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to run with Carson. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And this doesn't work. The Steelers recover it. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Here's a quick hitch route and the throw complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Five yards, now it's third and five. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Johnson. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That gain on third down, good for 28. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. It's first and 10 from the 12. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. one home it's a touchdown well there's just about a minute left in this game and they're still taking it into the end zone and you know they could have taken a knee there but they decided to play this one all the way out and i think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got if we just go ahead and take a knee now we're actually showing you disrespect that way like taking pity on you they're not about to do that to their opponent now myers for the extra point And it's no good. Oh, he misses the extra point. And our score stays right where it is. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And this doesn't work. The Steelers recover it. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. He's going to let it fly. 
And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. Ebron's got it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Ben to throw again. Going for it all. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. Again, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Looking for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And the Seahawks are the class of the NFL. Seattle wins the Super Bowl. Steelers nothing. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.